race fans, welcome to Williams Grove Speedway as the 410 Sprint Cars are joined by the Super Sportsman for a Friday night open wheel double header. Who's going to take the $6,000 victory tonight? Well, we're going to find out because, ladies and gentlemen, it is showtime at Williams Grove Speedway. Marks to the lead, Stevie to the cushion. Side by side momentarily, Mark sets the pace in turn number three. Smith looking for some racing room. Brent Marks with the lead, Smith second, Dietrich third, Blaney fourth. Greg Hodnett working the outside, drives around Lucas Wolf. Hodnett up to fifth. Marks in heavy traffic now. Smith back to the top and four. Stevie Smith outside and four, here he comes. Yellow flag is out. Got a car stopping on the back stretch. It is the number 21 of Brian Monteith. Things were really getting interesting with the leaders in heavy traffic. Green now. Marks down low, Stevie to the top. Marks good off the bottom. Lead Smith down the back stretch. Stevie ducks low into three. Marks slams the door. Hodnett ducks low, working Dietrich off turn number four. Can't make the pass. Dietrich and Hodnett gaining on the leaders. Marks low and spins. Brent Marks has spun the 19 M. Green now. Primes chasing Lucas Wolf into turn number one. Alan Primes will take over fourth spot. Checkered flag coming out this time for the 51 of Stevie Smith. Greg Hodnett gets second. Ott is third, Prime's fourth. Welcome back to Victory Lane, Stevie Smith. First, I want to congratulate you and ask you, you had a bird's eye view. What happened down there in three and four? Oh, I don't know. Brent decided to go low that time, and those cars were kind of, they were, they were making that middle and bottom line. And actually, I was thinking when I got a little closer, I was going to try to go around them. But, you know, I think he might have been trying to take my lane, which is smart, you know, and I'm sure he's seen me, but... Um, it's just unfortunate. He was in an unfortunate place at the wrong time. You know, he just uh, got into that lap car, and that's, it's all part of racing, Bruce. Cars scattered all over the racetrack. How close were you to the two cars that got involved? Well, luckily, I stayed on the bottom of that lap, so I just, they just kind of moved right on my way. How about on the restart? You know Greg Hodnett's really been fast all season, really been coming on. He's lining up behind you. What was the strategy for the last nine laps? Yeah, I know, Greg. They've had a really good car, and, and I knew he was going to be tough. My strategy was to, to just drive my race and take my lane and let him try to go around me. And, you know, I pretty much made my mind I was going to stay on the bottom and one and two, and 
and I was going to, I wanted to keep pace in three and four because I wasn't real sure about that corner, and he's going to have to go around me, so it's just, I wasn't even really going to worry about trying to block him. I didn't know where he was running anyway. I just, just running my race. What were you thinking the last nine laps? Did you want to see him go to the bottom? Uh, he, he's a he's smarter driver than I am. I knew he'd go where the car was fastest, but, uh, you know, just uh, thank everybody for coming out, and we were lucky enough, the guys from Miller Brothers are here tonight, and Dave Pritchard from Aaron's Trade is here. He's what makes this whole thing happen. We got a bunch of new sponsors to keep this thing going, and uh, Stevie does just an absolutely great job. And Moon gets the car good, and Donny Out Engines, as always, run really well. Field in turn three. We're going in a circle real fast. 20 laps the distance. It is feature time for the Super Sportsman of Williams Grove. Oh, hey, Paul Miller. Rich Eigelberger goes three wide through turn number two. Out front, Russell Mitten's got his hands full with Paul Miller. Miller diamonds the quarter. Big run off the top side of two. Paul Miller to the outside into turn three as they battle for that top position. Frankie Herr picking him off on the back stretch. He's gotten around Fantasy and Timmy Barrick. We'll pick up two spots. 14 laps in. We are 3.73 seconds. The advantage for your leader. And we got one out over turn one. Out of turn four. No passing before the cone. Green is out. Good run for Scott Giese. Branky up the banking around Mike Enders. 99 of Frankie Herr off the bottom of two gets underneath the 75 car. Down the long front straightaway one more time. The dirt track Cadillac of Paul Miller will win it tonight at Williams Grove. Paul Miller came in the draw tonight, said he wasn't feeling too well. How are you feeling now? I'm going to feel a whole lot better till Monday morning when I go back to work. And they see I, you know, didn't show up for work today, and then I won tonight. So uh, we'll see how that goes over. But I feel a lot better. I'm definitely under the weather. i um, been fighting a cold here this week. And I went to the doctor today and slept around all day. And uh, that helped. I mean, even up to the last minute, I wasn't sure we were going to come or not. And uh, I said, man, it's going to look beautiful up here tonight and the sprints are here so um hey it all worked out great um yeah what can you say it was great I could go anywhere I wanted to middle top bottom um it seemed like the middle was about where I could keep my momentum up uh, best and um I was pretty scared at the end to see Geezy behind me you know have that red flag and you sit there and you keep thinking oh it's Geezy it's Geezy you know and uh, um you know, him and I are tied for the most wins here, you know, in our third or fourth or fifth place, wherever we're at. It's uh, Mitten, Geezy, and I all with 10. And I'm thinking, Dad, you know, he, he's going to steal one from me here again. And, uh, you know, and Mitten was up front. And, you know, um, I want to beat those guys. 